Julia uh, Lobu Said is on the line. He's the chief executive of Advantage Travel Partnership, which is a travel agent's uh, industry body. Good morning to you. Good morning. What, what's behind this? Um, the idea really here is, as we know, Heathrow have imposed a temporary cap on flights um, from, from the airports, 100,000 this month, um, in order to meet that and, and to really minimise disruptions for consumers. Um, British Airways have... Um, up in the lead up to now, they've cancelled some flights. But at the moment, what they've also done is they are stopping the sale of any new tickets on short haul, domestic and uh, flights to Morocco and Cairo. But uh, so that means there'll be fewer people on flights that are still scheduled to take off. Possibly. Um, the whole idea is really that you, you allow space on flights for anybody that is on a flight that has been disrupted. It gives them some scalability. Some, well, it enables them to kind of oh, scale up in a way. Yeah, so they can p yeah, move to, people around flights. That's the point of it. Isn't absolutely it? right. Absolutely. So it's, it's quite, in, in one respect, it sounds quite counterintuitive that mm. an airline will be would be um, reducing seats or, or at a peak period. Um, but absolutely, it's all about building resilience, making sure there's less disruption, um, ensuring those people that have booked, um, if they were looking to travel, um, that they will, you know, there'll be less, there'll be less risk to those flights being disrupted. Um, yeah. Right. So for, from the point of view of someone who wants to travel, who's al already got a ticket, this is probably quite good news, isn't it, then? It's stabilising it news. Is. But a from the point absolutely. of view of British Airways, can I put to you something someone's told The Times, an industry, an aviation source, BA will have hated having to do this at the peak of the summer season. This person says it completely removes them from the lucrative last minute market at a crucial time. Well, I, I think any, not just British Airways, but even my members, I've, I've got 700 travel agents across the UK. And, you know, if you're if you've been shut down for two years and all of a sudden during your peak season, you have less flights to sell. That's not great news for, for them or for consumers. However, in the context of where we are, um, of course, nobody likes not to sell something. But of course, it, but ab absolutely, we need to make sure it minimises disruption and actually we can build resilience in the system. So, in a, in a very counterintuitive way, it's it's a positive news for consumers. Uh, um, it is short scale. It was short time, so we've only got it until the end of this week. Yeah, although some people say it might go on in, in, into the summer. Do you think that's possible? Um, it, I, I think anything's possible, but it, but I think we're, we're it's the um, you know in in one respect, what do we do? It does the industry do nothing? On the other respect, actually, what can it do to make sure it can meet consumer demand as much as possible without the disruption? Mm. Unfortunately, the surge has created. So I think it's trying to, to create as much um, positive, without having to panic, um, opportunities for everybody. What's the relationship like at the moment between the, the, the companies that you deal with, that you represent, uh, and, and the airlines and the airports? Because we've had the boss of Heathrow on the programme recently, actually, quite defending what, what's been going on there, saying that the shortages in ground crew, etc., etc., not really the airport's fault, it's the airline's fault. Is, is this a row that just goes away because both sides lose interest eventually, or is, is one side going to make its point stick, do you think? Um, I, I think it's very difficult. I think when something, you know, as, as you know, huge as we've seen that has created so much disruption for so many, when it relies on a whole ecosystem and so many moving parts to make one thing work, um, unfortunately, finger pointing comes out, which is really frustrating for my members and, and, and other parts of the industry. Um, at the end of the day, we need everyone to work together and communication is so important. Um, if we take what's happened with British Airways, you know, as key trade partners, you know, our members would have received no notification. I've got on the website of British Airways this morning. There's no notification. It doesn't take a lot. So I think the communication aspect um, is so important and it needs every part of that jigsaw to make sure they're working very closely together because one cannot operate without the other. Julia Lobusayed from Advantage Travel Partnership. Thank you very much.